All right, there we go. All right, guys, let's get this start. Let's get this party started. Welcome to the Tuesday intraday slash day trade setups. The um, setups that I'm looking for. Um, just to trade them between today and tomorrow, basically. Because those are like, honestly, these are honestly the days that I do try to trade from. I do trade on Mondays, but it's just like whatever I could find real quick. Nothing to get in for a long time. But then on between Tuesday and Thursday, that's when I usually actively trade. So right now, the DXY it had a, a quick push to the upside. It started like around like four, like 340, 330 to 345 my time. Started this this book bullish push to the upside which i was expecting price to actually drop down on this sell that i gave well not this sell but the sell like run over here i was i thought it was going to go a little lower to like 92.80 then come up here but it, it, it didn't so <laughs> um but we are like i mentioned we are getting this bullish um this bullish move on the the USD for that arbitrage is about to call a buy for it. But one thing that I'm waiting for to see if it's going to happen is if it's going to respect. Let me actually close this out. If it's going to respect the zone here. This is what I'm really watching for because if it doesn't, then price might just come right back down to this 92.40 area and this consolidate like how it did right around over here. So that's what I'm mainly looking for right now to seeing if price is gonna reject off of here, which it has so far, but it's it's not even London, it's not even New York session, so this could be a fake out for all we know for like this this all is gonna this drop that it might be doing. I'm not really too confident in that right as of yet. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes on it and wait a little bit. I mean, if let me see on the one hour time frame real quick. And it's funny because I was watching it the whole time. I'm like, wow, really? It's moving this early? Like, come on now. And I sat on my hands because I wasn't prepared for a buy at this point right here but anyway so yeah um we do see that it hit the three deviations and it's showing that it is overbought right here and then right now it's currently at the two deviations and it's it's make it's kind of making a decision if it's going to either a keep going to the upside or b come under the compass and the momentum line right here and the level pro and also the arbitrage is on the hourly. It's still bullish. So, like I said, this kind of might. It's, I still think it could possibly go up. I'm gonna just wait a little bit and get more confirmations on the DXY before I make a move on any of the other USD pairs because that's what I usually gauge it on. And just to go on the regular charts to see what it looks like if it's gonna load up. And if not, I'll just refresh it and I'll go back to it when it's done refreshing. All right, let's go to EURUSD. Basically, I'm pretty sure EURUSD is just the opposite of what I'm looking for, but Arbitrage wants to, I mean, not arbitrage. Um, Trade View wants to play games. And I knew this was, like I said, I was watching it the whole time. And I knew that this was going to leave a wick. I was like, watch this leave a wick. Watch this leave a wick. I leave for five minutes. Well, not five minutes, like 20 minutes, but it went bullish. I knew it. I could have took a risky buy right there. Anyways. All right. So 
So, you know what? I'm going to close that because it's just loading and I could literally just do the same thing. No, cancel. I'm over it. It's taking too long. Thank you. All right. So your USD, basically same thing as as the DXY. The only way that's going to keep going any lower. Oh, let me go on the daily real quick. My computer be really slow, man. I'm thinking of upgrading soon. I am not liking this. All right, so see how these on the 15 minute time frame the price is overbought. I mean, oversold, oversold. It's at the support. Where on the daily time frame. It's rejected off of it multiple times, both under when it was using it as a resistance and when it broke through it. It's rejected off of it multiple times. So right now, I'm still looking for sales on the Euro USD, like in the like in the long term, like maybe in the next couple of days. But it still is looking like it's struggling to break it as of right now. So I'm still kind of iffy on selling it until it breaks this level. So I'm kind of waiting to see if it's going to make a bullish move right now, to be honest with you. Like I said, if the US dollar, if it's going to end up dropping, if the DXY ends up dropping, then the Euro USD, it'll go bullish. So I'm just waiting to see. But I do like the buy for now. I just don't like how the 15 minute is set up. Let me look at the one hour time frame. Yeah, in the one hour time frame, like this huge wick. I'm so mad I didn't get in that. I could have, man, it's all right. Cutting on it to a nice quick scalp. But anyways, the one hour time frame, yeah, like I said, we have these oversoles right here. It's holding well, but I just don't like how any of them look right now. Let me look at the four hour real quick. Yeah, and the four hour is at the lower danger zone, so it's still selling. It did call for that sell, still selling, and it could still end up coming down to the two deviations, maybe even possibly. Down over here at 1.16929, who knows? But anyways, we'll see how this plays out. I'm just observing for right now. But for now, if it holds, take it to the – I'm kind of bullish on it. So I'm still watching EU. Going to just watch that. I don't know why I still have this green, but I'll fix that right now. So GU, I try to I try to get into it that – GU sell yesterday quickly hit my stop loss. <laughs> like after I went to bed, it went to work to go and just like just hit my stop loss fast. And I'm like, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Come on, one hour time frame. Okay, while you're doing that. Um, on the four hour, we do see that price um, definitely is like breaking both the RSI line and the upper danger zone right here for GBP USD to go um, bearish. But you know what? 
it's playing games. I'll just go on one screen. But it does have this zone. Same thing as with, with your USD. I just like drawing that box. But same thing with your USD. It has this zone that it needs to break through before I could really say that it's going to go bearish. Because it could just bounce off of this and go right back up to the upside and either A, hit down, hit up here at 1.3 to 300s or even possibly come up here and make a higher high or something like that. Let me get rid of these. Do I actually want this over here? So, yeah, and I'm just, I'm currently wait. like I said, I'm on my, I'm sitting on my hands for now. I want to, I don't want to just, I mean, I kind of do, but I don't, I don't want to just buy right here and then price ends up dropping like a couple hours later. I want to see what price is going to do like in the next hour or two, and then maybe I'll get into it. So, like, on the one hour time frame, let me see. And then just, yeah, I'm not feeling the one hour at all. I mean, I do see those oversolds. I mean, I do see this oversold. I, I need to see one more before I can be like, okay, maybe it's turning around. All right, it should be good now. I should be good now. So, um, we we'll started recording again. So, like I said, with GPUSD. Sub Chris, sub sub. Mm -hmm. All right. So, like I was saying for um, GU, unless this happens. Like unless price breaks through this and then retests, the, then obviously a drop. I'm still bullish on it until it breaks that until it breaks that zone. But like I said, for arbitrage, it is under. It is literally like under the daily RSI like line right now. But it has to close under here for me, or yeah, it would have for for me to it had for. It have to close under there for me to be like, okay, this is more bearish than it is bullish at this point, but still, I need for it to break this zone that it's in. Because like I mentioned, it is a formidable zone. And so watching the 15 minute time frame, it looks like it might be slowing down. I find we finally got the second overbought on the oversold on the um on the indicator. So going to be watching and see if it's going to go bullish. So um, just put it on red. Watching that. Let's go on to AU real quick. Okay. All right, so AU, I mean, I'd already gotten out of this previously, but AU came and hit my stop loss. But it looks like it like literally just hit my stop loss and now it wants to see what it wants to do. <laughs> I hate when it does that to me, but it's all right. I'm okay with dealing with that because now I can wait and see exactly what's going to happen here. So... Right now, all I'm seeing is that AU is, break, is broken and retesting this 
That is not oh, because there's a magnet. How about no magnet? Okay, that's weird. Because I don't even want a magnet in the first place. There you go. All right. Like I was saying, so it looks like right now that this is a break and retest. That's what it kind of looks like to me at, at, at this point in time. Might be thought I was muted. It's all good. It's all good. And so watching it right now, because it could still even potentially come down as low as here as it has before. Let me make this a little better. So watching what it does over here for at first to see if it's going to continue this bullish move. I'm on the daily time frame. It it is looking like it's setting up for a sell, but it's not quite there yet. So like I said, I'm just watching it for now. Seeing what AU is going to do right here at this. Let me actually enlarge this. So as we can see, last time it came down here, it came all the way to this zone right here, rejected, went bullish. So want to see what it is doing right here. It is at this um, three deviations. Just so we'll see if it if this stretches even further lower or if it's just gonna like I said go bullish from right here. But like I, I'm just watching it. I'm not really interested in any of these pairs right now. Yeesh. Tough crowd. No, I'm joking. It's because they already made a move. And I wasn't I wasn't expecting any of these moves to happen overnight either. Like well not overnight, but kind of overnight. All right, so GA, that's a site you don't see every day. AUD, USD dropping, and GP, AUD dropping as well. All right, so AU, kind of a similar predicament. Yeah, right? It's like, uh, okay. So it's like, it's the GP apparently more, is it weaker than the AUD at this point? Or like, what's going on? This is just, it's just weird. Like, you don't, so you hardly see that. But so, yeah, so GA kind of still at this zone down here. It could still potentially come lower to like 1.79. 200 or something like that so kind of just there's i'm not i'm not interested in any of these pairs to get in at this point in time because they've already made a drastic move uh, if anything i'll probably scout this morning honestly so far from what i'm seeing i just want to find Oh yeah, I got into this trade. It hit my take par par partials. I put my stop loss at break even. Break even got hit, and it's already gone bullish. I'm pretty sure Peyton he got into this trade. I'm pretty sure that he's in nice profits right now. He's gonna be happy when he wakes up in blue. All right, let me get rid of all this. Oh, before I even go to EA, I do want to mention this on AU. Totally forgot to do it. No, don't want that. There you go. All right, so... 
what I wanted to do was throw a fib on this. So from this move, from this swing, I want to see what it looks like. That's a little too high, but I'll fix it when I get closer. Hmm. Okay, so currently it's like around that, in, right in between that 60. Wait, before I continue. There we go. All right, so it's like right at that 61.8 fib. So yeah, definitely still watching. GU. Let me get rid of this because it never happened. Well, it did, but it, it really did it. So this cell that I was, this cell that I'm, I, this is the cell that I'm still in, like from last week. I think I'm going to take my, my profits. I'm just going to close the trade out right here. Um, I really want to see what AU is going to do right here because it could just keep dropping right now. Like, I mean, technically speaking, the Australian dollar is in a recession or not the Australian dollar. Um, Australia is in a recession. So, but it doesn't mean that the currency can't gain value or anything like that. So I'm just watching AU right now. Like I said, I'm just watching all of these pairs, basically not really getting into anything. EA, you see, and then look, EA is over here hella bullish. That's what I was expecting GA to do, not for it to go bearish like that. I was like, what? So weird. Okay, so with EA, similar predicament. I'm glad this came back up to the zone. Want to see what it does here. But with this bullish candle, if this bullish candle holds, then I'm definitely going to be more bullish on, on um, wait, this isn't, I said EA, EG. I'm definitely going to be bullish on it if this, this bullish candle holds. But if it doesn't, then I'm just going to be like, yeah, let's just, how about no? Which is so interesting to me how your GP is this bullish, but then you go to your USD and it's, it hasn't even like really moved that much throughout the whole day. So it's kind of interesting. It's like, like I said, it's apparently the GBP is weaker than the Australian dollar right now is that's all I could really think of. But yeah, I'm just going to wait and see what your GP does here. If that candle holds, then I'd probably try to get a quick retracement tomorrow or the next day for a potential sell for like maybe like what, like 30 or 40 pips, but that's just about it because like I said, this is just from when I said that EG is probably going to keep going. This this just kept going. So yeah, that's for your GP. Watching that. Let me do EA before I do EN. Okay, get rid of this real quick. Zoom that in. All right, so as I stated on um, Sunday, I mentioned that I did expect price to come down to at least this um, 1.6200 level, and that's when I said, okay, I'm going to sell it 
and I'll take the sale down there. Took my partial profits and then, let me actually put my phone on, do not disturb. I took my partial profits, put stop loss at break even just to make sure, but hey, like I said, this it was I expect I fully expected price to come down, come over here, then went go bullish. It totally did. Um, right now for EA, unless it unless it breaks through this current zone that it's at, which I wanna I'm gonna look more into it, that it, it could very well just come back down over here and keep consolidating or something like that. But I do expect it to break through the zone though, realistically. But yeah. Gotta wait and see what it does. If it does, if it breaks these highs right here, I think I might actually end up putting a buy stop like at 1.62920. If And then if it keeps going higher, then I'll be in that buy. Because like I said, I do expect it to keep going higher so that's for ea still red not really in anything okay so i mentioned that i wanted to see en start climbing up to retest this RSI line to keep going bearish, and that's exactly what it's been doing. So, just going based off of that, I really because this already came down a good amount and basically retested this little zone on the smaller time frame. Um, but the only issue is, let me go into four hour for this actually to show it a little better. And I'll hide this. Yeah, so I, sh I had shown the four hour called for the buy on, sun on um, Sunday. And so it's going bullish, but like I said, it could just very well come up to 1.7725, which matches up very well with this hitting the RSI line and then continue the drop. I'm expecting to see how that plays off, but it could definitely just hold off at this zone, which matches up basically to right here. So, again, just watching Euro and ZD as of right now for a potential continuation to the downside. It could, but I do want to see it come all the way up here at like 1.77500 at least. All right. So that is for Euro NZD. I mean, the four hour can just keep going up and then all, hit all the way at 1.79300 as well. So that's something that you want to watch out for. But we'll see how that plays out. Let's look at some crypto real quick. All right. So I have been trying to buy. Ripple and Bitcoin, I feel like they're going to buy since they're holding at this 10,000 10, level. They've come, it's come down all the way. Well, for a Ripple, Ripples came all the way down to, I need that out of the way, to 0 0.23, 300. Yeah, it's come down to 0 point, uh, 23 cents, basically. And it's been holding at the 23 cents level pretty well. Um, and this is a, a level that it, it broke through and it's now retesting. So I like seeing that. Um, this is a level that it previously came up to and it rejected. So I'm definitely looking to probably even buy some more, put some more ripple into an investment. Yeah, that's exactly, mm -hmm, that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. That's because the DXY, if it, if it, like how it's doing, if it goes bullish, then yeah, crypto is going to end up dropping down. But you're right. So kind of watching it. Like I'm just, I'm really not in the markets right now. 
Like the only thing I'm really in is in gold, and that's because I've been waiting for 1915 to hit. But I'm not really in anything right now. So I I've already like I've gone out of this trade. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. For for the meantime, I mean the one hour. Ed yeah, told me to exit a while a while ago. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna see what happens. This came down here. Well, so I got into the buy right here. It called for the sell, but I did a get out, then it called for the buy again. <laughs> oh yeah, tacos, yeah. Ooh, thank you. I need to look at tacos. I need to add tacos to this list. But yeah, I'm still watching what crypto is gonna do right here at this um door. Um, Ripple's gonna do at this level right here. I do still think that's gonna go bullish, but being patient. And if anything, it, it did look. We did get the sell. If anything, it could just, which I think it actually might do, pull up and then drop. We'll see. But I'm like I said, I'm watching this right here for now. Um, Bitcoin, it's kind of doing the same thing. I've gone out of the cell because I'm just like, well, same, like I said, it's came, it's, it's came at this level. It's hit it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row. Now we're going to use that. So want to see what it does here. Like I said, it's a level that's been broken and it's finally getting retested, but the potential of it to continue dropping, it's very likely because everything is pointing to a sell. So I'm not in these. Everything's red. This is such, such reds. So I'm just waiting and seeing what's gonna happen, then go from there. So let's look at gold. This is the only trade that I'm in right now, actually. For once, who would have thought, right? I haven't traded gold in like what, about a couple months now? And I've the, of all days today, I choose to trade gold. But it's came back down to my 1950 level that I've been I've been talking about. So I can get rid of this pesky line. And you as well. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna leave you up there for now. I'm expecting gold to push up. I still want to see it come up here to 2020 and see if it's gonna either reject or if it's gonna make a higher high. So I'm still looking for that. I, I just got into gold at 1914. So it's still down here. Like there's still plenty of time to potentially get into it. I like the rejections that I'm seeing. But yeah, I'm trading. I'm looking to see how this plays out. If it's calling for a one hour sell, I know. And so I'm being risky with it. <laughs> But like I said, I want to see how it's going to hold this level. The 15 minutes calling for the sell, just holding it. I think gold is going to go bullish, but I'm just holding it. If the U.S. dollar rises, then I'm pretty sure that gold might fall. So we'll see. But I'm in that. S&P 500, yeah, it's looked like it's going to drop as well. Same thing as with, um, same thing as with the Dow Jones. I'm pretty sure, but of course, I needed to break through this zone for me to think that it's going to continue dropping, which matches up perfectly with the RSI line. So we'll see how that plays out because maybe this can just be a bounce off of the RSI line to go bullish, or is that's the call right there? So we'll see how that plays out. Um. Another red. Let me see something real quick. Four hour. Yeah. Is that the two deviations? Yeah, definitely want to see what price is going to do right here. 
because it is giving us a double bottom, but it's this looks more like a, a a bearish flag to me than anything. But yeah, gotta wait and see what happens first. So that's for the S and P. Dow Jones doing the same thing. <laughs> I know you guys like that. All right, so kind of the same, but yeah, same thing. Still in this zone. Well, I needed to draw. I needed to draw it a little better, as it's fallen more. But these bearish candles are only telling me that price is, is going to keep dropping. So, if it keeps dropping, I might low key actually get into a risky sell if it keeps selling. But I'm not going to sell it right here, obviously. But that's what it looks like it's doing, and it's not even opening bell yet. So let's see what goes down with the with the Dow Jones. I'm away from it for now. And let me add one more to my list. My friend Tacos. If it loads. Dang, man, I really, I'm really sitting on my hands today. All right, my bad. All right, so let's go with some tacos. Ooh. Man. This hurts to see because I was literally, literally just on my phone, literally like a couple of days ago when price was down here. I'm like, hmm, I think, to, I think this is going to sell. How many more pips? How many pips later? 312 pips later, because I don't think that's 3,000, but I could be wrong. 300 pips later, it's gone bullish. Um, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel in the sales though. If price rejects off of here, just like how um, if the US dollar where it's at right now, if it rejects off of the off of its um resistance, I'm kind of feeling the same thing with tacos lately. Cause I mean, ever since this fake out buy, it's just been real it's just been bearish overall. And then look another fake out buy, then bearish overall. So depending on what it does on this zone right here that I might actually end up selling this. But of course, I'm I'm just like going to wait. I'm not going to go on it right now because I mean, these bear these bullish candles trying to go against those right now. Pretty risky. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens. But yeah, I'm basically I'm I'm I this is kind of a, a useless <laughs> kind of a useless um, live today because I'm not getting in anything. I mean, I'm in gold. That's the only thing I'm trading right now. But everything else, I'm just sitting on my hands. I'm waiting for better opportunities. Might get into some risky positions, but again, it's all at risk at this point. So let me see what the hour's looking like on USD Mexican. This yeesh, the thing. Yep. So yeah, just gonna wait and see how things play out. I'm definitely gonna be active in the chats in the next couple of hours. So or for the next couple of hours, I'm gonna be pretty active looking and seeing still. But yeah, guys, that's about it for today. Is there any other pairs that anybody wants to look at?
for any any insight or my opinion on it. None, all right. All right, sounds good, sounds good. All right, well, I'll check, I'll definitely see you guys in the chats and I would post up the recording as soon as I get everything edited and put together. So, laters. No problem.